water running here, what you're seeing is distillation in action. So I have a boiling flask, um, a condenser, and a collection beaker. Water from the tap, cold water, runs through the condenser. So remember that distillation separates the components of a mixture by boiling point. In the, in the boiling flask, the brown water is water with salt, charcoal, and coffee particulate dissolved in it. Now it's boiling because of heat from the hot plate. Only the water is boiling. The other ingredients of this mixture, the salt, the coffee, and the charcoal, would melt or boil at much higher temperatures. So at 100 degrees Celsius, only the water boils. The water vapor rises through the flask and in the, into the tubing, where it then moves into the condenser. Now the condenser has an outer sleeve that's filled with cold water coming from the tap, continuously replenished. Here's where it comes in, and here's where it goes out. That makes the condensing glass nice and cool, probably about 15 degrees Celsius, around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So when the water enters the condenser, when it touches the pole of glass, it condenses back into a liquid. And you can see that here. If you look carefully, you can see droplets forming on the glass. That's water vapor boiling from the boiling flask. Finally, what happens then is when enough water accumulates, or whatever the solvent is that you're evaporating, it then runs down the condenser and drips into your collection container. So in this beaker right here, we have pure H2O. No salt, no charcoal, no coffee particles. Get you a closer look here. There you go. So our beaker, pure, clear H2O obtained from distillation. This is water that came from this collection from this boiling flask. And that's the process of distillation. If I had a mixture of different liquids and I were to heat it to a very specific temperature, one liquid would boil, not the others, and I could collect it in the same way using the distillation.